Understanding God is a tricky thing. People have been trying to figure out what God is for ages. Some say you have to experience God yourself to truly understand. In this big universe, everything we go through is like a taste of God. Some call this higher power by different names like the universe, God, or source. But whatever you call it, one thing's for sure, it's a part of us, and we're a part of it. Think about it. There's this incredible power of endless awareness, this never-ending source of energy that's in each and every one of us. But sometimes, we lose touch with it because of our own ideas, biases, and beliefs. William Blake once asked why we look for help from God when God is already within us. It's like we're always searching for something outside of ourselves to fill a gap inside. We think if we can just find this external thing called God, then we'll be complete. But the truth is, God isn't something outside of us, God is within us. We're all connected to this divine power, and we can tap into it just by being ourselves. We don't have to go searching far and wide or rely on something outside of us to bring us closer to God. God is right here, within us, within our consciousness. When we talk about God, we're talking about this essence that's everywhere. Some call it the cosmic fountain, others see it as the essence of all life. It's in the warmth of a hug, the laughter of children, the sweetness of honey, and even in the simplest things like the rising sun or the twinkling stars. God isn't just some figure sitting on a throne with human-like traits. God is everything, and it's at the core of who you are. But sometimes, our ego gets in the way. It makes us see God as something separate, something we can judge or fear. We try to describe God using human traits because that's all we know, but really, God is beyond human understanding. To truly understand God, you have to immerse yourself in it, become a part of it. It's not about searching for God outside of yourself. It's about looking within. When you quiet your mind and focus on the present moment, that's when you'll feel the presence of God. It's not about trying to define God. It's about experiencing it for yourself. So instead of looking outwards, look inwards, and you'll find that God has been there all along. As we embark on our journey of self-discovery, we begin to unravel the immense power and potential nestled within each of us. No longer reliant solely on external forces, we realize that we possess the strength and wisdom to confront any obstacle that crosses our path. This realization beckons us to look inward, delving into the depths of our being where boundless power resides. The quest for understanding shifts from seeking validation from the outside world to exploring the recesses of our innermost selves. It's a transformative journey, urging us to dismantle the barriers of perception and preconception, leading us to unveil the eternal presence that permeates our existence. But what role does our consciousness play in all of this? Our consciousness isn't a separate entity from the cosmic source, rather, it's a manifestation of it. We are inherently connected to the Creator, and through our consciousness, we gain access to the infinite creativity and wisdom of the universe. We become co-creators of our reality, harnessing the power of imagination and visualization to materialize our deepest desires. The ancient hermitists understood long ago that our reality is a product of the mind, an extension of the infinite consciousness or God. Thus, everything exists within the realm of the mind, and the universe itself is a mental creation. Despite our existence being a part of this vast cosmic tapestry, we are undeniably real within our own plane of existence. Our journey extends beyond the confines of mortal life. We are beings that transcend time and space. Before entering this world, we relinquished our creative power, wisdom, and glory for a divine purpose. In assuming the mantle of humanity, with all its frailties and limitations, we became vessels for the divine within. We are all integral parts of the divine whole, connected to the Creator through our consciousness. While the ego may shape our sense of self based on memories and experiences, beyond its confines lies our true essence, a divine and infinite spark that illuminates our existence. The concept of the illusion of perception, particularly how our eyes deceive us into believing we hold dominion over our own existence, serves as a fundamental barrier separating us from the vastness of the universe. 
This illusion, this mirage of control, blinds us to the reality that our very existence is beyond our grasp. Our lives unfold naturally, without our command, in synchrony with the rhythms of the universe itself. Yet, this realization eludes those who remain ensnared by the trappings of their ego, steadfastly clinging to the illusion of separation from the divine. From a young age, we are conditioned to perceive ourselves as distinct entities, each possessing a unique consciousness and agency. This individualistic mindset fosters a perception of the world as something foreign and alien, a realm to be confronted and conquered. But the truth is far more profound, we are not separate from the divine. Consider the Hindu tale of Indra's net, where an intricate web spans infinitely, adorned with jewels at every intersection. Each jewel reflects all others, encapsulating the entirety of existence within its shimmering facets. This allegory illustrates the interconnectedness of all things, portraying each person as both a singular expression of cosmic essence and a reflection of the whole. Our desires, therefore, must harmonize with the greater good of the universe. We must remain cognizant of the ripple effect our actions exert upon the interconnected web of existence, endeavoring to live in consonance with its intricate tapestry. In the realm of consciousness, everything intertwines. There exists no realm beyond its reach, we are but emanations, extensions of its boundless energy. In realizing our oneness with this primordial source, we tap into its inexhaustible reservoir of power, wisdom, and knowledge. The hermetic teachings and principles of mentalism further illuminate this interconnectedness. The axiom, as above, so below, suggests a profound correspondence between different levels of reality. It posits that the patterns of the universe mirror those within the individual, offering a blueprint for understanding both the microcosm and the macrocosm. By delving into the mysteries of the cosmos, we glean insights into our own nature, and conversely, by plumbing the depths of self-awareness, we unlock the secrets of the universe. When one comprehends their integral role within the tapestry of infinite consciousness, they awaken to the realization that they wield access to its boundless potential. In this realization lies the key to unlocking the dormant forces that lie within, propelling us towards transcendence and enlightenment. You don't need someone in the middle to help you connect to the big cosmic force out there because guess what? You're already linked to it, you just gotta realize it and figure out how to use it to your advantage. So, how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Start by being honest with yourself. Think of this universal force like a supportive parent or friend who's always there for you. When you're honest and humble, you unlock this crazy infinite power because it's all about staying true to yourself and what you really want deep down inside. No more hiding or pretending those dreams aren't real. Embrace them and let them lead you where you're meant to go in life. And hey, when you start seeing this cosmic force as a loving buddy who's got your back 24-7, you'll feel more confident and ready to chase those dreams. No need to be scared of anything because you've got the whole universe cheering you on, you're already wired into it, tapping into all that power and wisdom. You just need to realize it and figure out how to make it work for you. Stay honest, chase those dreams, and trust that the universe is on your side. Remember, you're not just some ordinary Joe or Jane. You're divine, baby. You're here on Earth for a reason, so let that true self of yours shine bright like a diamond. You're the boss of your own life, so listen to that inner voice and go where your heart leads you. Never forget, you're a divine being rocking this human experience for a reason. Embrace your humanity, but never lose sight of your divinity. And always keep in mind, your imagination is a powerhouse just waiting to be unleashed. So, go ahead, awaken that inner magic and create the life you've always dreamed of.